a Navy SEAL trainee, heard about the older master who had such a success record with training other Navy SEAL and special ops candidates that he went clear across the country and asked for a meeting with this individual. And at the meeting, the SEAL candidate immediately launched into a long dissertation about all of his accomplishments, how he was the quarterback of his football team and top of his class and his PST scores, how many push-ups he could do and sit-ups he could do and how fast his run was and how good he was at swimming. And the master was silent. And during this long dialogue, one-sided conversation, the master picked up the tea and began to pour a cup of tea for the trainee. And he was pouring and pouring and he didn't stop pouring. And pretty soon the trainee noticed that the tea is running all over the place. And he's like, why are you pouring the tea all over the place? It's spilling all over the floor and getting out of my pants. And the master just smiled. And finally he spoke and he said, this cup is like your mind. It is run over with self-importance and with concepts of this and that. And if you have any prayer of succeeding as a Navy SEAL, you'll need to empty your cup, empty your mind, let go of all these notions of how great you are and how successful you already are. Because this is a different game. If you wanna master anything, in particular, if you wanna become a Navy SEAL, then the first quality you'll need to learn is how to empty your mind, to free up the space for new ideas and new thoughts. So consider where do you need to empty your cup so that you can be open to new ideas, new thoughts, and new ways of being. Hoo-yah, empty your cup.